Hmm. Howdy. Clint Cap over here. Wait a minute, howdy. Howdy, Clint Cap over here on the set of, uh, of the Cow Cat Show. And, uh, yeah. Shout out to all the YouTube subscribers out there that we are going to be at the, uh, at the convention tomorrow. It's not the Baycon. We are going to the San Jose Convention Center of the Big Wow, uh, Comic Con convention. Well, it's our version of the Comic Con. It's not really Comic Con, but they think they are. Uh, we're going to be there. A cat cat. Uh, yeah, I think it's going to be Clean Capo over there. I'm not sure if Shaggy will show up or not. <laughs> Let's see if he shows up, but uh, I don't think the. Uh, probably not. It should be Capo. Maybe Silly Kelly. So, uh, Mark's cards and uh, in the game. Uh, at the convention. I uh, don't know about the stories or Tim Cantrell. Yeah. So that's what's going on tomorrow. Uh, it is uh, it's the 18th. It is, it's the 18th of May. It's a week from when would usually be our Baycon. Uh, it looks like we're not actually going to Baycon this year. For tonight's little snippet of, of, of weirdness of food for thought and such. Such. <laughs> food for thought and such. Uh, we was thinking of um, a video that was put out by one of the people we subscribe to on one of our CalCat channels. Uh, the um, the Bionic Dance. And, uh, we subscribe to this character because it's amusing. Uh, so uh, we wanted to answer the question, why are we here, even though we really can't. So. That's all. We're not going to rip any of the uh, internet people because uh, we need subscribers. So, the, in, in response to the uh, the uh, infinite, infinite questions of the universe and such, why are we here? Well, it is a difficult concept, seldom known in the galaxy. Apparently, we don't really know why humanity is on Earth, put on Earth, for whatever reason. It appears that we are the dominant species on the planet, on land. And that, uh, yeah, that we've discovered science and things. We've discovered religion and things. We've uh, come to a consensus in our society as to what civilization is. And some might argue that we're not that civilized because we still fight each other in wars. Some other species of primates that are similar to humans, they, they make love instead of war, which is interesting. Uh, the bonobos, for instance, they get it on. Other animals in the animal kingdom do that as well. The bunny, for instance. But bunnies can also be pretty ferocious, too. I mean, the bunnies. So yeah, so um, the universe, let's see, in brief, I, I had to get the Tom Brookston character out, but that's not necessary. I was a Clint Cowpoke, I'd be able to answer this. The, the complexity of the universe is ordered, not as random as we think. Scientists and physicists and astronomers discovered that Nature of stars and matter in the universe, planets and comets and things seem to follow certain patterns over and over through time. They, they've discovered other extrasolar planets through mathematical computations and seen other things out there that cannot be explained, but in some ways can be explained. Uh, they can explain orbits of planets to put a spaceship on another planet in our solar system. They haven't left our solar system yet. And they can explain like uh, stuff like that. They can explain that there isn't really a planet X because the orbit perturbations of, of, of those outer planets were incorrectly figured out in the 1800s, thus leading to no, 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 no new Rebu, no uh, goofy Anunnaki planet. <laughs> and they was reading them tablets wrong anyway. Yeah, stitch it. That, that, that yeah. Uh, anyway, we've been there before, but, but to answer the question of what the universe, why are we here in the universe, uh, there's, a, there's a website called The Big Think. Go there on YouTube and see all these actual astrophysicists talking about that very thing. 
or you can uh, listen to the uh, the opinion, the glorious opinion of uh, other random people on the internet, such as Cal Cat, Clint Cowpoke, or whatnot. And the universe uh, is too ordered to be random, and some indication to the universe being ordered indicates there must have been somebody or something that created the universe. And that's when when agnostics and atheists go, wait a minute, no, there can't be anything there there because because religion is made up by man to uh, either either control them or to have faith in something so they're not as afraid at night what things scare them or whatnot or whatever. You know, so uh, so really um it's probably both with religion. Uh, humanity invented religion to explain the unexplainable. And uh, although some of us in the cast are religious, some of the some of the cast are not. They're atheists or they're agnostic or something. So there's a, a conglomerate of uh, on the cat on on the production team of the Cal Cat Show where some of them aren't. Right? Most of them go to church, but not all of them. And uh, so that's interesting. Uh, and it's very Protestant, so and, and Protestant, but but almost non-denominational in, in some ways, because even though there is the denomination and the Protestant part, uh, very open-minded in this particular area about that kind of stuff. Um, not saying they're completely open-minded though. Just recently, they uh, indicated that they uh, work for. Uh, uh, gay unions and whatnot in the church, but uh, they, uh, but I don't know if that's necessarily the view of the uh, production staff at all. Uh, they would be for civil unions of that kind of thing. So yeah, so um, so you know if they want to do what they're going to do over there, they can do that. Um, I'm not, they're not objecting to that. Uh, so religion. So why are we in the universe? Why is humanity out there? Is an intriguing question that cannot be answered by logic. Cannot be answered by doing a mathematical computation. But it appears that if the universe is ordered and structured as it appears, that there must be some reason humanity is out there in the galaxy, and therefore we must have a reason for existing. You can see why why humans would assume they're the center of the universe, because all Earth is all we know, right? I mean, in our and the planets in our solar system, and the, without and without science, without discovery, without dreaming and such, you wouldn't have you wouldn't have that. We wouldn't know where the universe was. If the first cave people didn't draw cave paintings and stuff, and the first you know discoveries of science didn't happen, we'd all still be caveman running around or something in the jungle. There wouldn't be any society at all. It's like the Dark Ages proved that people can degenerate back to earlier forms. And it probably happened many times. Uh, and uh, ancient societies, even the, even the Stone Age, Neolithic societies were very advanced. Uh, the Egyptians and whatnot. And all that. Of course, I'm grouping that all together for thousands of years. But trying to explain that humanity seems to have some sort of special something or other. We just don't know what it is. And... And as some uh, bloggers commented, well, uh, well, maybe it's just so we can be there for the aliens to eat us. Well, that's funny, but unlikely. The aliens would have already been here to eat us. Yeah, and uh, someone was also saying something about Earth Mother and, and coming out of the butt or something. <laughs> it doesn't make no sense. But apparently, uh, yeah, they, they think that our production staff has been birthed out of the Earth Mother's rectum. <laughs> Which is funny, but don't make it don't make a lick sense. Um, we're not we're not Earth Mother theocrats. That that'd be a little strange. We're not Democrats, really. We're uh, I guess liberally minded in some ways, but mainly centrist. Pretty open minded, I think. The Cal Cat Show. So that's um. So if you want um an opinion to become a fact, it has to be an established opinion. And if you want a belief to become an opinion and then become a fact, like they did with, for instance, Judaism and, <laughs> and Catholicism, and yeah, they did, you know, and that kind of thing, 
Oh, that could kind of be a fun fact. Or, or you have religions where where a messianic figure appears, such as the Jesus Christ or the or the or the um, uh, Muhammad, and they appear, and then they're then that organization begins to follow what that person taught. And that's, yeah, that's an opinion. It's they're following a guy's opinion that, that lived. Or, you know, we're assuming he lived. Yeah, so that's all right. And it's not like it's all bad. I mean, the Old Testament, you know, Bible, that's kind of weird, the Old Testament. The Old Testament was weird. But it, it's not, it's not that, uh, not, not to be taken completely literally. We don't take it literally. It's, that's, that's silly. And yeah, and, and, and so, yeah, we're, there must be some reason humanity is on Earth. We just don't know what it is. We can't prove it. But we can prove physics. We can prove science. We can prove medicine. We can prove, like, like where things are relative to us, that kind of thing. But yeah, you can't prove a, an opinion or a belief. It's it's just not possible. Uh, there is, as Sherlock Holmes once said, uh, if you eliminate the impossible, the improbable, no matter how unlikely, is therefore the truth. You know. So <laughs> what that means is that if you got a story that sounds too good to be true, it probably is. But if there's a little grain of truth to it. There might be some truth to it. Some. Or it might be the chili that was eaten earlier. It might be the meatloaf. I, I, that meatloaf's coming back. I didn't have any chili, but now I'm feeling the meatloaf. So, this is a Calcat show thing that we don't really know, and uh, it's everyone's opinion whether we, we know the existence of the world, of us, why we're here. Someday we'll, we'll find out why we're here. I don't think it's random chance. I think there is order to the universe. I think things happen for a reason. Some things don't happen for a reason. And no one person knows the time or date of that kind of thing. No one person out there can know all that stuff. So there you go. There's an answer that's a non-answer. That doesn't really rip nobody. But, <laughs> of course, I'm talking like a hick because it's funny. But, um, so there we are. Um, so... That, Answer is just as good as any, I guess. And uh, that's it for that, I guess. Uh, there's your answer to the universe, the universal question. To find out more information about that, you can consult several uh, websites out there, including Big Think, which has that that feller from uh, from the Universe TV show on it, um, uh, which is a legitimate History Channel, Discovery Channel show. Do not consult ancient aliens for facts. They don't, they're not truthful. Uh, Mythbusters is probably not too good for facts either, but it's fun. Uh, and, uh, but, uh, stay tuned. Who knows? Maybe we'll find aliens and maybe, well, of course, maybe we'll crawl out of the anus, the rectum of the Earth Mother. You know, that's remarkably similar to a, uh, a, uh, a guy that did a, uh, video called The Retarded Animal Babies. In one of his episodes of his Flash video thing, he did, he did an episode where the little puppy, the horny puppy dog, he goes inside the, the, the Goya, the Gaia, the Earth Mother, and has sex with it. And produces another universe from out of the Gaia, the Earth Mother, or whatever. It didn't make it like a sense, but it was the same joke. It was funny. You know, I'm sure the person that put the other thing in there wasn't kidding, but we're definitely kidding about that, so. So there we are. <laughs> Somebody already beat you to it. And uh, see you at the convention. Well, not you guys on blog, but see you there. We're not going to videotape that. We're going to have like a picture camera or maybe a few little clips, but we're not going to video it because you probably don't allow that, the artists and all that. Uh, we will discuss it afterward when it happens. Uh, Calcat, Mark's Cards, the studio. We will see you there. Well, we'll see you there live. San Jose. This is this TV KTS, Milpitas, San Jose. We say that because Milpitas is like not really a suburb of San Jose. It's a joke. But we're saying like it is like a suburb of San Jose. Basically. Everything that happens in San Jose happens in San Jose. Milpitas is a bump in the road between San Jose and Fremont. That's what they say. It is cool that Urban Dictionary has mentioned Barry S. Weed, though.
uh, let it be known that we have not actually done that on the Cal Cat show. That would be that would be strange. And I'm not going to do anything like that. I'm just silly without the stuff that artificial enhancement stuff, artificial uh, drugs. Don't need to do that. I'm already bizarre as it is. Mm. Mm. See you there, Cal Cat Show. Signing off.